Hello everybody, it's Rain with Rain Fiber Arts and today I'm going to be showing you me plying with some tricks and tips along the way and how I ply 100% alpaca to make a two ply yarn. Now you always want to ply in the opposite direction that you spun your singles. For example, if you spun your singles clockwise, you want to ply them counterclockwise and vice versa. Z twist is clockwise and S twist is counterclockwise. I spun my singles in the Z twist and I'm going to ply using the S twist. Now right here I'm setting up my lazy cape and I'm just going to add a tiny tiny bit of tension with the little knob. I don't use very much tension at all because I'm constantly pulling out more and more but I do like a tiny bit of tension that way it doesn't just fly back and wrap around itself. So I'm just taking my singles and pulling them through the guide, one from each bobbin. I have my bobbins half full. I took an empty bobbin, put it on my scale and teared it out and then I put the full bobbin on and that tells me how full they are. I'm adding some twist right here. I like to add some twist to get the plies going and it makes it a little easier. So I just added some twist and then I realized I needed a leader for my empty bobbin. So I just take a piece of any old acrylic yarn I have laying around, like Red Heart, Karen One Pound, any of that type of yarn. And then I just pull it through with the little hook that's provided with the Ashford E Spinner. Then I just turn my wheel on so it'll feed onto the bobbin. And when I get to the end, I'm gonna show you how I tie my leader to where it'll pick your yarn right up and it works great. So you take your four ply acrylic yarn, I'm using Red Heart, and you just split the plies two and two. So you have two plies on each side. And you just untwist them, just like this. Untwist them, probably about eight to 12 inches or so. Maybe not even that much if you, uh, if you can tie a little fiddly knot. So you open your plies up, give it a nice little tug, give yourself some room, and right at the edge, about a three inch tail, you wanna tie a knot right at the edge there. And that's gonna make a loop above that knot so you can thread your yarn through just like that. And it works wonderfully. So I untwist my singles and I thread them through the loop like so. Just fold them over through the loop, get my wheel going, and I'm gonna get started on plying. Now you don't want to rush through the plying. You want to take your time, make sure you're getting enough twist and not too much twist, and keep an eye on it. Adjusting my tension here, there's a little too much tension. Now you might be able to go through your singles quite a bit faster, but you definitely want to take your time plying because that's your finished yarn. Like that is it. After that, all you're going to do is wash it and thwack it and it's ready to go. So make sure that you're 100% perfectly happy with it while you're plying. This is the motion I like to use. I always keep my finger between the two singles. I find that that is the secret to keeping them nice and evenly wrapped around each other and it doesn't look like one single is just wrapping around the other single. It looks like they are evenly just wrapped around each other perfectly and that's my favorite way to do it. And I just keep an eye on my twist as I feed it in and let it go in when it looks even with the rest of the yarn.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got so much more to come. I'm so excited to show y'all what I've got planned. And I'm going to show you in just a second the finished product on the bobbin. There it is. It's almost finished right there. It's a DK weight. It's nice and even. I absolutely love this project. I've got more to do still. And I hope you enjoy. Follow me on Facebook at Rain Fiber Arts, TikTok, Instagram. Give me a subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Thank you. Bye bye.